Okay, we really enjoy photography. It all started off with just going around, going around different places and just recording the, the, the place. That's how I started liking photography, specifically in the street photography. Non-stop buying cameras and buying these new lenses almost on a monthly basis. You know, I have a lot of um, thinking that new lens or the new camera would give me a better image. If I remember correctly, my first proper camera, digital camera, the Nikon D70, and then gradually I moved on to um, the Leica lenses. Again, I was the, the X-Band, the Minox, the, the Hasselblad, the Roly, uh, the 4x5, the 8x10. The... I spent like 90% of the time looking for new cameras instead of going out and actually using them. Now, does it really help your photography? Uh, nice, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Well, I just can't keep up with uh, maintaining two channels at the same time. This is the English channel, and at the same time, I'm doing this uh, photography community over at the Shutter Alliance. You know, I don't really want to say the same thing. I try to make you know each channel to be unique and exclusive. Yeah, that's that's my intention. I just finished my first ever ever photo exhibition, and I gotta say it's it was pretty exciting. I'm a happy guy. It's because I use this like a monochrome. This is a CCD, which is like what, uh, ten years old, and you know what? It still came out pretty darn decent. So, um, you know, it's good for the lens. I think I use. Um, I don't know, something really inexpensive um, lenses. And um, I, I would say like it's plenty good enough um, to do an A2 print. What happened was like about eight months ago, um, we did a, a photo walk. And after the walk, um, this one guy he came up to me, his name is Matthew. He came up to me and said like, hey Vic, would you be interested in co-hosting uh, a photo exhibition and I thought like wow uh, wow so I've never um, organized a photo exhibition let alone participating in one nobody in the right mind would invite me to do an, to do an exhibition because you know, I'm not exactly a well-known photographer I'm just a nobody <laughs> I thought like yeah it'd be like a good learning experience um, to organize a an exhibition at the same time being able to participate in terms of exhibiting your work yeah exhibiting your work work wow uh, I don't normally use work to describe my photos because they're just photos that I took randomly without any intention or purpose or whatever I just like taking pictures that's it so what is happening now is I'm trying to set up this, uh, this studio thingy. Uh, well, first off, I'm pretty glad that these guys, these lights, are pretty darn cheap. You know, unlike back in the early days uh, with uh, the aperture thingy, um, the falcon eyes and all that. They are, uh, these guys are relatively a lot cheaper actually. Uh, so I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> okay, the light itself, it's, you know, it's pretty small, but if you add the... Um, say for example, I'm using the umbrella here. It, it's pretty darn big, you know, to soften the light and all that. The reason why I am concerned with the size is because I really want to turn these um, lights into a fixture instead of like, moving things around. So what did I learn from this exhibition? I would say um, I got to know these guys pretty well. You know, we had to go through so many things uh, for the past half a year or so. Um, that, I would say that would be the, the best thing about this exhibition. There was a good turnout. Um, it was fairly crowded. So yeah, we, all of us were pretty surprised to, you know, to see so many people taking their time to come over to see the, the exhibition. And none of us were, oh, okay, none of us are um, a well-known photographer so mm, <laughs> we did manage to make a bit of a sound um, so I got I got to know these 
it was a good networking um, opportunity for me. I got to know some people, I suppose, and I think like we could work, we could all work together in the near future. So that's going to be interesting. From a street photography point of view, this is actually a really good um, learning experience. For example, like we're so used to posting our photos um, either in um, the Instagram or in the Facebook. Uh, okay, there's nothing wrong with that, but the thing is, it's so much different you know, when you actually printed the photo out and actually display them onto a wall. Um, it's a, it's a it's a completely different thingy. Okay, the, the photo might look pretty crappy um, in the Instagram, or it might look slightly better if you look at it. The same photo on the larger screen, the same image might look very different. As a matter of fact, it might look to be pretty good if you print out large and actually mount it nicely on the wall. How do you, how do you determine a good photo? You know, it gets me thinking. I provide no answer, but this gets me thinking. Yeah, it's obviously, you know, it's impossible to print every single photo that you make. Uh, well, it's not practical, especially if you print a lot, okay? Because right now, I don't exactly know what to do with these, um, the printed photos. I think it'd be a waste to throw them away, but at the same time, I don't have a place to display them nicely. You know, the walls are, well, we live in our car, it's the places pretty tiny. We cannot afford a sp an empty wall to mount these photos. So mm, if you guys been following our Instagram account, you'll notice like we, we are posting less cameras and more photos. Uh, that's intentional. Okay, cameras do attract more viewerships. Not everything is about viewership, I suppose. Even if we are in the industry of making camera straps, we are still in the photography industry. So fundamentally, photos, that's the fundamental of it. And this is why I've been trying my best to post a photo a day. If you guys have the time, go and check it out. Subscribe, like, comment, and it is so damn cheesy. Okay, there's one thing I do not like about these lights. It's the app control. Personally, I think I would much rather prefer having um, additional remote, remote control to control these lights. Uh, back, I'm using the the Falcon Eyes LED light. It's got its own app to control it. For this one, I'm using in the Aperture. It's got its own app for it as well. Non-photographic lights or non-video lights, they've got its own um, app to control the light, which is pretty useful. A lot of the time the problem is whenever I want to make a video I will have to not only turn the lights on physically but also I would have to spend you know like a couple minutes turning on um, each and individual app in order to control the the, the, the the lighting as well I find it to be rather annoying you know, if you're doing it on a regular basis I don't mind using a phone to control these, but uh, I think I would much rather prefer if the industry, these lighting companies, uh, if they could standardize uh, using a single app to control everything. That way I don't have to go back and forth between um, different apps in my phone. So I don't know, that's my thought. Uh, well, at least like 99% of the time, I do not bring these lights out for any outdoor shoot. As a matter of fact, I don't even go out using these cameras to shoot anything. This camera, this is the only one that I've been using. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Okay, you can still hear the humming noise. Okay, uh, another thing I want to do is uh, to soundproof the area, but it's impossible. Are these foams? that you mount on the wall, it's, uh, they are pretty ugly. Okay, they're not exactly ugly, but they, well, they look decent in a studio, in a proper studio, but not here. Not, this is not exactly a full studio. Okay, what is the whole point of this video? The point that I'm trying to make is doing an exhibition or actually printing out the photos, they really do help to improve your photography skill. It gives you a direction of what you should be looking out for when you are 
out in the street. Um, it helps you to stay focused of, on what you want to shoot. You don't have to be a well-known photographer to do an exhibition. You can always get together with friends and organize. It's always nice to print a photo. It doesn't have to be big, you know, you can just always print. Um, say for example, you know, that's about this size. It can be small. Now obviously, the bigger the, the print, the, the larger the impact. And it's very difficult for me not to elaborate extensively, jump things around, um, either in the real life or especially in the video. I don't do things in a chronological way. So I tend to, you know. Uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.